QAA Madness. How to add JUnit 5 to the project. In this video, you will learn how to add JUnit 5 to a project for running tests in one or more threads. Note that to use JUnit, you need to have Java, Maven, and IntelliJidia installed on your PC. You can find links to the installation videos in the description. Open Google and search for JUnit 5 Maven. Open the link to Maven's official website. The link is under the video. You will see a page titled Using JUnit 5 Platform. Copy the code from the first block. Open IntelliJidia with a pre-created and launched Maven project. You can learn how to do it in one of our previous videos. The link is in the description. Open the POMXML file. Paste the copied code inside the project tag and delete the blocks with dots and square brackets. Click the Load Maven Changes button at the top right of the screen and wait until the update is completed. Now, let's try to create a little test. Go to the SRC test folder. Right click on the Java folder. Select Java class under New in the menu. Name the class. For example, test class 1. There should be no spaces in class names. Press Enter. The class file will open automatically. Inside the class, create a method to be your test. To turn it into a test, add the test annotation above it. To see if the test works, add a simple output to the console inside it. For example, type the words first test. There are two ways to run a test. You can press the green button and select run. Do this and look at the result. The sentence you have entered in the test is displayed in the console. The other way will take a little more time. Open a terminal. You can use an IntelliJidia or a default Windows terminal. Type MVN clean test into the terminal and press enter. As you can see, the test did not start. To fix this, you need to add the Maven Surefire plugin to the project. Go back to the Apache Maven project you have recently visited to copy the code. Select Usage on the menu. Copy everything under the Buid tag in the first block of code, including the tag. Open the POMXML file. Paste the copied code inside the project tag. Click on Load Maven Changes at the top right of the screen. Wait for the update to finish. Open a terminal, type MVN Clean Test, and press Enter. As you can see, the test was successful, and the test message was displayed in the terminal. Add one more similar test, but with a different name and a different message. Run the tests using the same command in the terminal to see if both are successful. Now, let's imagine that each of the tests has some common steps to complete before and after it. We do not want to repeat the code over and over again. In addition to affecting its readability, repetitions make the code more difficult to support. Fortunately, JUnit 5 has several tools to handle this, such as annotations, before all, after all, before each, and after each. Let's add them to our class and look at the effect. Note that methods with before all and after all annotations should always be static, while before each and after each should not be static. We added the class name variable only to illustrate better the sequence of tests run from different classes. Each of them simply displays the text with some punctuation for visual convenience. Let's run the tests using the terminal and the MVN clean test command. As you can see, the before all annotation method was run only once before the whole class. The after all method was run once after the whole class. The before each and after each methods were run before and after each test respectively. With these annotations, you can make the code lighter and more flexible. However, there are other ways to use annotations. Let's create a new class next to the previous one and name it base test. Open it and add methods with annotations before all, after all, before each, and after each. The names of these methods should differ from those used in the test class. Make sure to add output information to visualize your actions. Go to the test class and start under the base test class. Go to the terminal and run the tests. As you can see, the base test class methods work the same way that similar methods from the tests class do, 
though are started before and after the same methods of a test class. Base test methods are on a level above, representing a kind of wrapper over each class that is inherited from it. This is how you can make your tests more flexible. But even that's not all. What if we have over a hundred tests and want to reduce their execution time? To do this, we can run these tests in parallel. For starters, let's create a new test class that will be a copy of the previous one. First, let's see how the two test files will run independently, not in parallel. Go to the terminal and run the tests. As you can see, the test files are run in turn. And now, let's set up the parallel. Go to the pomxml file. Add a block with the configuration tag to your Maven Surefire plugin. Add the tags parallel with the value all in it. Fork count with value 2. And reuse forks with value false. You can find some additional configuration options on Maven's website. The link is in the description. Upload the changes. Go to the terminal and run the tests again. Look at the result. Tests from different classes are mixed because they are performed at the same time. This knowledge will help you write concise tests and perform them in the shortest possible time using the JUnit 5 framework. You can find the link to the repository used in this lesson under the video. Thank you for watching the video. Subscribe to our channel to find useful guidelines and tips in the future.